Hi, in this module I will tell you about regional air quality products of the Copernicus Atmosphere Monitoring Service. Air quality is defined as the quality of the air that one directly breathes at the surface. It directly affects lives of most European citizens. It forms a significant risk factor for various health conditions and can also aggravate existing health conditions, such as respiratory diseases. On a larger scale, atmospheric composition represents the full state of the global atmosphere, covering phenomena such as desert dust plumes, long-range transport of atmospheric pollutants, and ash plumes from volcanic eruptions, but also variations and long-term changes in the background concentrations of trace components, such as ozone and particulate matter. Using forecasts from seven different models running in parallel in different European countries, 800 high-resolution maps are presented each day. Every morning, the platform disseminates four-day forecasts of the concentrations of major pollutants, with a spatial resolution of about 10 kilometers and covering an area from Iceland to Turkey. The backbone of this system is the Global Atmospheric Composition Forecasting System operated at the European Centre for Medium Range Weather Forecasts, or ECMWF, which makes use of observations from several tens of satellite instruments and allows tracking the long-range transport of pollutants into the European area. The CAMP's air quality results are commonly fed into more detailed urban and local scale models for long-term air quality assessment and operational air quality forecast for cities. The CAMS provides information on air pollution at the regional level, which is an important input for higher resolution systems providing finer scale forecasts in local areas and cities. It can also help public authorities anticipate air pollution episodes and make healthy and safety related decisions. Several leading European institutions are involved in the provision of the air quality products of the CAMS. This demonstration will show you how to view and extract an ensemble surface forecast for ozone and hourly reanalysis data for particulate matter for one year. Ground level ozone, the ozone in the air we breathe, is a harmful for people and environment. It's not emitted directly into the air, but it's created by chemical reactions. Ozone is most likely to reach unhealthy levels on hot, sunny days in urban environment. Ozone can also be transported long distances by wind, so even rural areas can experience high ozone levels. Particulate matter contains microscopic solids or liquid droplets that are so small that they can be inhaled and cause serious health problems. Particles less than 10 micrometers in diameter, called PM10, pose the greatest problems because they can get deep into your lungs and some may even get into your bloodstream. Besides the health effects, particulate matter can cause reduced visibility, make lakes and streams acidic, and damage sensitive forests and farm crops. Let's see now how you can access the regional forecast. Go to the CAMP's homepage and select Catalog from the top menu. From the product family list at the left side of the page, select Regional Forecast. Look the product European Scale Air Quality Forecast from Model Ensemble for Ozone which is first product of the list, and select More Details. If you want to know more about the production of air quality forecast and analysis over Europe, select Documentation from the bottom of the page to access the detailed description of the product. To access the forecast maps, select Plots. At the top of the page, you see a map with ozone concentration forecast. Newest forecast is default option at the map window. You can select which forecast you want from the forecast base time drop down menu. Select ensemble model and from level menu select surface. 
From parameter drop-down menu, select ozone or any other component you are interested in. You can look at the forecast animation in map window by selecting play and stop. Before you can download the data, you have to read and accept the data license. From the choose a package drop-down menu, select the forecast time steps you want and the right file format. Available file formats are NetCDF and Crip Edition 2. Select download and save the data to your local disk. Now I'm going to show you how to get regional reanalysis data. Go again to the catalog and select regional analysis from the pro product family list. Select PM10 from the parameter list and scroll down to European scale air quality analysis from model ensemble for PM10. Then select more details and select plots. From the menu on the top of the page, select Ensemble Reanalysis at the right hand side and select the Ensemble Reanalysis map. To see the reanalyzed PM10 concentration levels at the map window, select PM10 from the parameter drop down menu and select the year you want to see from the year menu. From the indicator menu, select Annual Average. Now you can see yearly average PM10 concentration values in the map window. To download the data, look at the direct data access box at the bottom of the page and click the link. From the drop-down menus, select Ensemble, then hourly reanalysis, one-year data and PM10, year 2015 and file format NetCDF. Read and accept the CAMS data license Select Download and save the data your local disk. Here are some hints how you can view and handle NetCDF data. Panoply is an application developed by the NASA. It plots georeferenced arrays from NetCDF, HDF, GRIP and other datasets. Panoply is a cross-platform application that runs on Mac, Windows, Linux and other desktop computers. QGIS is an open source application. It runs on Linux, Unix, Mac, Windows and Android. It supports numerous vector, raster and database formats and functionalities. Thank you for watching this video and hope to see you in the next video.